Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I got to uh, spend some time crafting this morning, and I was very excited to have that time. And I created some flowers using the beautiful uh, laces and uh, trims from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. And I'll put a link to Kim's shop below, as well to all the other designers on the team. Be sure you go over and check them out. Their work is amazing and it always inspires me. Um, so I gathered um, out my needle and thread and some of her laces and trims and just put together some flowers with little tassels. I didn't overdo the tassel. Like normally when I'm making a tassel flower, there's just all kinds of tassel. But since I wasn't real sure what I was gonna use these for, I decided to just use this simple dangle here and then I have enough space. I can add as many tassels as I'd like or a bow or anything uh, later when I decide exactly what it is I'm gonna do with these. Um, on this one, I used this big flower from an applique from Kim's shop. Let me see, I think I used, yes. So this flower and this flower come from that applique. And Here's the, here's the rest of, of that same applique. So it has a lot of beautiful flowers. And these just made great backings. So I used that. And then I used, you know how much I love her, her leaf tr trims. So I used, I popped in some leaves <laughs> um, under there on top of that flower. Then I gathered up, if you saw my DT package, you know how much I love the <laughs> the scalloped gathered polka dot tool trim and that is what I I use the single one because it comes in a double and a single I don't have any here to share with you but I will put a link also to my um, design team package up here in the iCards if you want to see what I got this month uh, be sure and go check that out so many fun goodies so I used that here and then for this layer I used a <coughs> scalloped um, eyelet lace from Kim's shop and then this layer is this beautiful tool trim pleated tool trim that she has in the shop in all kinds of amazing colors I just wanted to really keep these neutral so I used the white and then I put instead of just a piece of bling her flowers make an absolutely beautiful center so on all of these I use the beautiful flowers from from Kim's shop which I'm running very low on uh, so I did use this one in this flower which I don't think it's focusing very well on but it's so so pretty I love all the pearls and the um, stamens it's just gorgeous so that is that flower it's poofy and amazing I love it absolutely love it and then for this one, I used the uh, same. I used the same dangle on all of them. And for this one, I used again that um, polka dot tool for the bottom layer. Then I used the pleated tool trim in white. And then I gathered up this beautiful lace I've had in my stash for a long time that came from Kim's shop, and I'm not even sure if she has it anymore. That's how long I've had it. But she has an amazing uh, variety of laces, so be sure you go and check that out. And for this one, I used this gorgeous flower with the rhinestones and the pearls. So pretty. And I only have these two left, but I think I do have it in some other colors because she does carry uh, this in other colors too. So I just think it's beautiful. It turned out so lovely. And then this one... I did a little bit different. I actually used the, um, well, I used a doily for the back. <clears throat> and for this layer, she has a double layered tool trim. And um, so I gathered it up and then I gathered this beautiful eyelet and I kind of gathered it around the second layer or the first layer. So the two layers are there. I just stuck a layer of lace in between the two. And it was cute. It turned out cute. And then, um, oh, this one I didn't use any leaves on because I think I've used up all of the leaf trim, sad face. <laughs> I need some more leaf trim. So on this one, I used these big, beautiful leaves. Um, she had a trim that had uh, three sizes of these leaves on it, just a yard's worth, and they just were beautiful. So I've used them on so many things, but now I'm officially out of them. 
<laughs> and I used, uh, again, this flower with the pearls. Just love it. Isn't that gorgeous? They're just so sweet. And then I created this one on a doily also. And I used the single layer polka dot tool trim. I used this beautiful scalloped eyelet. And then I used these leaves. That was from another trim that uh, this is all I have left of that trim. So I still have a lot of little leaves and flowers, but that's the only big leaf left. So I used those on here, poking out from the back. So cute. And then I gathered up a little tiny uh, lace trim for that layer. And then I added on another one of these. So I just think they are just lovely how they turned out. They're just so pretty. I'd love to uh, know what you think. So please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And if you would like to see how I put it together, I do have a process video coming up right now. And I don't really, I'm not going to say anything. I think I'm just going to play music through it. But if you wanted to see how I put it together. And also, you'll notice that when I was gathering one of the layers, <coughs> it broke when I was trying to put it together. And I, I just kept rolling and put it back together because so you could see it's not always perfect it doesn't always work out just the way you want it but I just kept going with it so if you want to watch that please please do and uh, I hope you're all doing well and I will see you all in the next one